Let's take a look at the general markets, focus in on gold and silver and the mining stocks. Plus, I want to share some numbers, some comparative statistics between the price of gold today and the price of the gold mining stocks today and some points in the not too distant past. These comparisons are mind blowing. I also want to demonstrate for you with one example why some of these gold and silver mining stocks represent an astonishing value right now. Let's get started. The S&P 500 is hovering right around 3,900. That's a far cry from its recent high of 4,800. Now, in the gold and silver markets, we have gold right at 1825, 1830 per ounce, putting up a valiant fight at the 1800 level. I think it's building a base from which it could launch into the end of the year. We'll see how that works out. Silver struggling a bit, right around $21 per ounce. Silver's been frustrating, man. But we know the fundamental story behind silver and are going to stick with it as the supply demand dynamic overwhelms the price and we eventually get to triple digit silver. The GDX 29 right now, 52 week low, about 30% off its recent high that it hit just a little over two months ago. Talk about frustration, but I want to share a few numbers with you right now just to show you how skewed and how beaten down the mining sector really is. In July of 2019, gold was in the 1400 1500 range. It was nearly $400 cheaper than it is right now. But with gold being $400 cheaper back in 2019, the gold miners were all higher. The GDXJ was 10% higher than it is today. So again, think about that. Gold was $1,400 an ounce. Gold has come up $400 over the last three years per ounce. But the gold mining stocks today at the higher price are lower than they were back then. For a more recent example, we'll go back just a year and a half, November of 2020. The gold price was nearly identical to what it is today, about $18.25 per ounce. But the gold mining stocks today, with gold at the same price, the gold mining stocks are 43% cheaper, 43%. It's undeniable that those numbers show how skewed things are in the precious metals mining sector right now. Things will get back to normal, and when they do, the price of the precious metal mining stocks will appreciate significantly. Thank you for joining us today in Ron's Basement. We're a group of like-minded individuals working together to help navigate the choppy waters the world is throwing at us. Precious metals, precious metal mining stocks, the people in Ron's Basement are smart, courageous, and willing to help one another. If you like what you see, I hope you decide to stick around. You can subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, or hit the little bell notification. That way you'll get alerted every time we put out a new video. We can see the value proposition offered by the precious metal mining stocks when looking back over previous timeframes. The numbers are astounding, but what if we focus in on just one company? What do we see? Let's take a look at Fortuna Silver Mines. They have $2 billion in assets. All their mines, equipment, everything comes to $2 billion. That includes cash on their balance sheet. They also have $600 million in total liabilities, total debt. That leaves them with net assets after you pay off the debt of $1.4 billion. That is represented by only $900 million in total market cap. What that means is that for every 
65 cents that you invest into Fortuna Silver Mines or that you own right now, for every 65 cents, you get $1 of assets. Okay, now that $2 billion of assets, I would imagine that if right now they wanted to rebuild all five of those major mines throughout the world, starting over from scratch, it would cost them much, much more than $2 billion. And if you factor that into the previous example, it makes the comparison even more astonishing. And don't forget, Fortuna Silver Mines is growing at a rapid pace and generating right now record profit and cash flow. I hope you enjoyed my video, maybe learned something. First and foremost, I'm glad you're here. You're always welcome in Ron's basement. And until next time, you be well.